All right, um, so this is the power supply section. There's a board uh, that you've seen before here, and there's four screws holding it on, and you can, you can flip it out of the way, and it kind of balances there because of all the wires. So this is the board that you probably haven't seen yet. So um, there is uh, all of the rectifications done here. So all the diodes here and some little little caps here to catch some spikes, I think. Um, they are all across. Um, so if there's a bridge rectifier, there's, there's a transformer and then the bridge rectifier. And this capacitor is on the transformer, across the transformer. And on some of these units, they have some dodgy capacitors, but these look like good capacitors. These look like a, a thin film capacitor, so I'm going to leave them, leave them as is. Uh, the reason that I opened this up is because I wanted to see if these big giant capacitors on the other side, you can barely see one right here, um, if they're good or bad, because uh, a lot of people change these out, but it requires you taking the entire instrument part, the CRT has to come out in order for you to get to those capacitors. And then you can't really buy those capacitors, you have to make a PC board, and it's a big a bunch of work. Anyway, so. I wanted to measure the capacitors, but I can't get to them, but I can get to the capacitors on this board. Um, I, I mean, where the capacitors connect, okay? And they connect on the input of the bridge or the output of the bridge. The, the transfer hooks to the input of the bridge and then the output of the bridge is to these big capacitors and that, that's the rectification. So I can measure them right here and they're all along this uh, connector here all of these uh, wires plug in on the side here, and uh, and uh, the schematic tells me where, where everything is. Now, a lot of these supplies are high voltage. Uh, there's a 100 volt one, and there's a minus 75 volt one, there's a 50 volt one, um, and some of them have floating supplies. Um, and so, uh, one of the lessons that I learned very early about scopes is if you have an, a if you have an oscilloscope uh, probe, this ground wire is connected to earth ground. Um, and you might not want to put earth ground on 100 volts or some other thing where it's referenced to ground because this thing is all referenced to ground as well in cer certain places. So I was very, very nervous about hooking up this uh, test lead to measure those, uh, those capacitors. Um, and uh, in one of my videos, uh, I reviewed this uh, battery-powered uh, oscilloscope. And it's perfect for applications just like this, because this ground, uh, it floats, right? This is all self-contained. And so um, I was able to go uh, through all of the places um, and felt comfortable doing it, because I was floating. Um, and I measured all of the uh, this, these big uh, capacitors. A couple of them, one of them was 40, 47,000 microfarads. Uh, this one's 4.2 thousand microfarads. This one's 11,000 microfarads. Yeah, there's some big guys out there. Um, and I measured them all and they're all good. So I'm going to leave well enough alone. Uh, I thought maybe I had some power supply ripple that was causing other problems, but I think I'm I'm blessing off the power supply now. I've measured all of the ripple. I've measured all the output voltages. Um, I've replaced some parts that weren't there any longer, so I think my power supply is golden. Um, so if I have any problems on this thing, it's somewhere else. And uh, uh, where is the somewhere else? Well, let's see here. Uh, this board here is the uh, step generator. Um, I haven't even got to that far yet. Um, I'm still working on the just r regular diodes without the step function. Um, this is maybe suspect. Um, this is the actual uh, drivers to the oscilloscope. Uh, there's some relays here. I think the relays are all working. Um, yeah, I, I don't quite know yet what to do. I thought maybe the... Uh, is that on camera? Let's see here. I thought maybe some of this stuff was going bad. Um, yeah, I haven't figured that one out yet. Everything that I measure seems to be okay, but somewhere there is something wrong, and it's very, very fundamental. I mean, it's a, ma a matter of one wire not having a good connection c can can explain this whole thing. Um, and I believe it's um, somewhere between 
<laughs> somewhere between this board and the CRT. And I think up in here, it's probably hard for you guys to see it, but um, up in here are some um, dual transistors that act as the inputs from the front section. Um, and it could be some of those are sick. Um, yeah, I just don't know yet. So anyway, I keep, uh, keep going forward. I think this is one of those projects that uh, will be something I just go to every once in a while. It's really hard to just devote myself to this. I, I would spend a month going through all of this, and uh, I think you guys would all get bored with me. So um, I think off and on I will come back to this and, and try to figure things out. There are still some capacitors that I should probably replace, just for comfort. Um, I did actually, um, I didn't do it on camera, but uh, uh, when I was troubleshooting this section here, I actually desoldered all of these capacitors and measured them with a, with a capacitance meter, and they all test fine. Um, and I didn't test the little ones, uh, but the outputs are all working perfectly. So. Uh, there really is no really is no point to, to changing those right now. Maybe maybe sometime in the future, but right now they're they are, they're acting just fine. Um, yeah, I don't know I don't know where to go next. Somewhere up in here. All right. Well, this thing has more modes that I'm familiar with. <laughs> so I got it into some strange mode. Um, uh, but just by turning this knob here, uh, there's a section that's for the collector, and then there's a section for the base. Um, and I'm not quite sure what that all means, but uh, it looks like it's doing stepping. This is a step generator knob, and if I turn the step generator knob, then sure enough, it's changing various steps. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the number of steps here is says five so it's probably the first one is a, is a is a given then it's one two three four five steps if i go to six steps yep it adds one seven steps eight steps so if we go down to uh three steps two steps one step yeah so that's how that works so the step generator seems to be working that's really good news uh eight steps nine steps let me turn this down so we can see all nine and 10 steps. Yeah, so that's all, that all seems to be working. I like that. So, no problem with the step generator for sure. Let's go to five steps here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't quite know what it means though. I have the, um, diode just across the collector and emitter. There's nothing hooked up to the base. Um, let's see here. Let me go this way. No, nothing goes that way. Yeah, I, I was just going to measure the uh, diode of a transistor and I stuck that in there. Yeah, here's just a regular diode again. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's that is working. Offset multipliers. My little knob here work. Offset multiple. Oh, the offset multiplier is. This is current limit. It's probably down here. Yeah, yeah. You can add an offset, and then. Yeah, there we go. You can add an offset, and then you can you can move this around with with this funny knob here. But I'm just going to say there's zero offset, which is where I had it. Okay, so the offset works, the offset multiplier works, the step works, the range works, the horizontal works. Uh, more and more of this thing is working. Um, but I can't get the darn vertical working. Cannot get the vertical work. There's something, I'm stuck on one particular range and I'm just not gonna be able to get out of that range, so. I don't know, I just need to. I just need to think. Hey, look at that. Hey, it looks like a transistor. Um, 
So, um, since the step generator was working, I, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do a transistor. So I've got a transistor working. Now, the problem with it is um, I'm having to do very small amounts of current. Let's see here. Yeah, it's kind of topping out here. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's do more steps, more steps. That's kind of slow. Now let's go here to five steps. And we'll go back down. Anyway, and looping compensation, does that do anything? No, nah, it doesn't do anything. So anyway, it's sort of working. Now, see, the problem is I have no control over the vertical. So I've, I'm one scale vertical. But I am able to make it look like a, uh, yeah, let me change the uh, load, the series resistor. That should change this angle. This is the load resistor. So if I change, yeah, there we go. I can change the load resistor. Let's, let's put it there and turn this up there. Look at that. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> this is like starting to look like a curve tracer. Yeah, pretty cool. I can change, oops, change this knob. Yeah, all right, we're getting there. Like I said, horizontal works, step works, everything works except for the vertical now. Ah, if I could just figure out what that is. Uh, and this is the uh, collector, collector voltage. So you can just turn up the voltage here. We're at 20% of 15 volts, 30% of 15 volts. So we're operating at a very, very low low voltage on the part. Um, but that's the scale that I've got to work with. I can't, can't really go much. Should be able to go up in voltage. Let's turn this down. Yeah, there we go. I can make it go over farther. There we go. Here's, there we go. 100% of 15 volts. So now we have 15 volts over a three, three K resistor, uh, on the collector of the uh, of the part, let's go. Yeah, if I go to here's 14k, 65k. Yeah, put it put it at 14k. I like that. I got these loop de doos here. We'll have to figure out how we get rid of those someday. Um, but yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oops. See now now see now 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 it's, now it's funny again. If I kind of twiddle this knob once, sometimes it fixes it. Yeah, it's, I don't, I don't quite understand. I don't quite understand. I know it's going to be one wire inside. I know it's going to be one thing. Um, but it is doing a good thing. Look at that. All right. Well, progress. <laughs>